It's local. A local Popeyes in Temple hasn't paid some of its employees in over a month. It's something we first reported on last week, and tonight, a hopeful update now on the situation. Joining us now live from the 6 Newsroom is reporter Darren Wallace. Darren, what's the latest? What did you find out today? Well, Chris, I spoke with Latoya Williams, the mother of one of the Popeyes employees, to find out if the store has followed through on their claims that they would address this situation. She tells me she still has no idea when her son will ever see a check. Last week, Latoya Williams went to bat for her son, who she says had gone weeks without getting a single paycheck from a Temple Popeyes. They think they can just get over people like not paying them or whatever, but it's like, it's not going to happen. Not on my account, it's not going to happen. The only payment her son has been offered is a, quote, loan of $400 that he would have to pay back, but he still hasn't been paid for weeks of work. I told my son not to take the payout or whatever. Tell him um, you want your money because why do you have to... Give him back something that's already owed to you. It doesn't make sense. She told me she tried to file a claim with the Texas Workforce Commission and was given a less than ideal answer. I haven't even got a call back from the Texas Workforce Commission. I left a voicemail. They couldn't pay him what he was, uh, what he make an hour. They can only pay him minimum wage. And I told them that we were not going to accept that offer either because it's like, he didn't work for that amount. He worked for his hourly amount or whatever, and that's what he needs to uh, get paid. Williams says Popeye's attempts to remedy the situation don't seem genuine. Oh, y'all don't want to be on blast. Try to make it seem like you're trying to help, but you're really not trying to help. While she and her son continue to search for answers. I'm not only speaking for my son, I'm speaking for the others as well because it's just not fair. They should be willing to not even give everybody that payout, that payout thing it should be, okay, this is what I can give you out of my pocket, or I can write you a check for this amount of money. I know it ain't going to cover what we owe you, but here is something towards a bill or something. They're not even trying to do that. Chris Williams told me the other day her son said they had just three employees on staff during a rush hour. She says Popeyes isn't making it clear how or when they're finally going to pay what they owe to some of these employees, Chris. Yeah, it sounds like a stressful situation for the workers, those that are wanting to get paid, you know, the ownership, everything. So they got a lot of th things they still need to figure out. Darren, thank you for the update.